Why did people hate the Eiffel Tower when it was first built? In 1886, the city of Paris began preparations for the World's Fair. With only three years before the event, the city wanted an iconic 1,000-foot tower, the largest ever constructed by man, to mark Paris as the centerpiece of world technology and engineering. Gustave Eiffel had just finished work on the, the Statue of Liberty and was hesitant to build another monument. But he eventually provided plans for a monstrous beast of iron, designed to withstand the elements, by using an adapted technique of his bridge construction. He was awarded the project, and then something terrible happened. As construction began, the townspeople of Champ de Mar berated Eiffel for destroying their skyline with a monster that seemed to consume all of Paris. They couldn't wait for the 1889 World's Fair to end so the tower could be removed. But the popularity of the tower and the adoption of radio created a new vision for Paris, and the iconic beauty of Gustave's tower eventually won out as a worldwide recognized landmark. Today, the tower bears Eiffel's name and is the most visited monument in the world, drawing millions of tourists per year to the streets of Paris. Just like Gustave, your new ideas may be criticized or dismissed, but that shouldn't change the outcome of your vision once realized. And that is the story of the man who built the Eiffel Tower, the iron monster that became the heart, and soul, of Paris.